the service, uh, communion is up front here. It is left up there after communion. And I got Cora with me, and she's going to help me uh, get things uh, tore down and put away and cleaned up after communion. So first thing we do is we typically, what, we come here and we, we reference at the altar. And so Cora's going to come up with me and we'll grab some more stuff here. We go on to the sacristy. Okay, we are in the sacristy, and the first thing we want to do is uh, take the leftover hosts and put those away. And so these are the leftover hosts from this previous Sunday's uh, divine service. And so we have a, a basically a, a container here, and we take all the leftover hosts and we put them in the Ziploc bag to be used uh, next Sunday as well. So we just simply pour those in there. And we seal those up back in here and we put it right in here for next Sunday. Uh, we have leftover wine uh, in the chalice. Now there's two things with this. Either you can consume it, just drink it, or we can dispose of this outside. Uh, there is a spot to dump it into a tube, if you will, that goes underneath the church, or we can dump it on the ground. Uh, basically, the rubrics say that we either consume it or we put it in a spot where it won't be uh, trotted upon or walked upon. Uh, so with this, we'll, we'll, I'll just end up drinking this here and uh, instead of actually pouring it outside. But either one is completely appropriate. All right, so we have the chalice. We wanna make sure to rinse that off. Really good. Pour that in there. So with respect to the leftover wine here, uh, we have obviously those that are still uh, full of wine, and then we have those over here that have actually uh, been consumed. And so with the leftover wine right here, we actually want to set this aside. The, this is consecrated wine. We don't want to put this back into the Moken David jar, uh, but we want to actually put it in a separate container. Do you want to grab that separate container there, Cora? This is for consecrated wine. So we take all the leftover wine from the small cups, and we put it back into this. And now this will be used first thing next week uh, for communion. So when we fill communion next week, we use this wine first rather than the other wine that's in the Bogan David jars. Okay, after the service, uh, the cups that have been used uh, for communion, uh, we take and we have them right there. Now we wanna be very careful. As you can see, we still have some wine, uh, some uh, consecrated wine that's still left in there. We wanna be really respectful of that. And so we don't want to just simply dump it down the drain. So what do we do? We take those and we put them into this bucket here, as you can see with Cora. She's taking and placing them in that bucket. And then she's going to rinse off the remaining wine. And then once all the wine is off, then we take uh, the cups that are clean and we place them in here to be washed with a little bit of a dishwashing soap. In the bucket we have uh, leftover elements of, of, of the wine, consecrated wine, and we want to dispose of this properly, so we're going to go outside and I'll show you where we can put it outside. And we have this right here. Sometimes this freezes. And it is frozen shut, so <laughs> uh, in the summertime it's open. But the biggest thing is we want to do is make sure that we don't put this on a path where it's going to be walked upon. So we can 